In this video, we're going to create the folder structure for our packages so we can reuse it, a sort of template. So let's get started with that by opening the Windows Explorer by holding down the Windows button plus E. And I prefer to put it at the root on the C, easy to find. And when you reference in script, there is easier to reach there. But you can, of course, put where you want. But if you follow along this video series, it could be a good idea to do the same. So here we create a new folder on the root on C by holding down Shift, Control, plus N, which creates a new folder. We call it underscore Intune. Why underscore? Because then it will arrive at the top when we sort it. And under Intune, we go in there, we'll create another folder, and this time we go by the Home button and click New Folder. Just another way to create a folder. And here we call it underscore template, because under here we will actually add our template. And under here we will create again a new folder, which will be the one we will copy each time we package uh, uh, software in Intune. So let's do this the mouse way. Right click, New, Folder. And we will call this one Manufacture. So if we would package Adobe Reader DC, for example, we'll call Manufacture Adobe, replace that. Then Software, which would be Adobe Reader D no, Reader DC. And then the version, which is often a number. So I put that X and it will be replaced. And at the end, the architecture. And very often I try to package 64-bit when possible. If it is a 32-bit, we would put x86 here. And I know that makes no sense. Why x86 and not x32? Actually, x86 has nothing to do with 32-bit. It's a processor family name. And in the beginning, when it was created, it was actually 16-bit software. The reason why I keep the x86 is if we open another Windows Explorer and we go to C here, we see there are two program files, one with program files, parentheses x86, parentheses, and that's where 32-bit software arrives. So that's why I keep the x86 to difference them and 64-bit software arrive here. If you're running a very old system, 32-bit OS, which is very rare now, then you don't have the x86 uh, folder. Then everything installed under program files, which is 32-bit. But you are most likely on the 64-bit OS, and therefore you have both this folder. And again, here, program files, you have 64-bit application, and on x86, install the 32-bit. So that's why. Let's go into this folder and we ha will have it as a template. We will create two folder here. I'll do it with shift control N and the first one we called source. And the source will include our installer, our script file, our config file, everything we need for the package. Let's create one more folder and call that output. So that's when we have packaged all into Win Intune format, we will put that in the output folder. So now we have the template, so we are ready to use. So we can copy this one here each time we create a new package. Let's do a mini test. So let's say we do the Adobe DC Reader and we will actually be doing Mozilla Firefox and Google Chrome. So we won't package Adobe Reader, it's just an example. Then we paste that here, right click or Control V. Then we can do uh, F2 to rename. And instead of manufacturer, we put Adobe. Instead of software, we put uh, re uh, Reader DC. Um, and um, version, we can say it's 18.03 or something. And let's say that this is a 32-bit software. And then we start. We add our installation here in the source, we create the output, we add some other files that we will add later in other videos that's following this one. So we are actually finished with our template. I will delete um, this one here. Yes. So we now have our template, so we are ready when we're coming later to create the packages, which is coming very soon. So we're done. Well done.